Today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful eagle with acrylic paint, step by step, in real time. That way you can follow along with me. And I do it for beginners and all levels. My name is Allison Pryor. Let's get started. Okay, here's our eagle. Now what we're going to need for this eagle is just put some good palette and just put some paints on your palette, which is ultramarine blue, cad yellow, cad red, burnt umber, sap green, black and white. Now if you don't have those colors, use any dark blue, red, brown, green, and a light yellow. So as long as you got those colors, you'll be fine. And then all you need is a couple of brushes just to, to put on the paint in the background. You'll need a flat bristle brush or you can use a flat or a filbert sable. Very nice brush. And we'll have other brushes to use. Um, some small liner brushes. And maybe we'll add a few more as we go along. So for now that's all you need. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this eagle down and we're going to go with a blank canvas. Alright, so here we go. Let's get started on this now. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to get your paint. I'm going to use my, going to use my bristle brush and it's probably a size 12, but you can use a half inch. And I'm going to wet it and I'm going to dip it in my blue. We're just going to do any background you want. You can have any kind of background you want. I'm going to pick up some blue on my brush and some white so that it'll all come out. I'm just going to do it this way for now. And then I'm just going to put a background on there. Sort of like sky and clouds all in one. <laughs> I have a video on uh, one step clouds and sky. I'll put that in the link for you. So I'm just going to put on this background back and forth. See how this, I'm just going to bring it down a little just to give it a little bit of a different shape. All right, so this is just your background now for your eagle, okay? So pick up some more white and some blue. Put some more on. Seeing how the, the blue and the white, they separate colors. Isn't that nice? Blue and white. I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of red this time. I don't know. Let's just play with colors. There we go. So you can put on any way you want. Your own background. You can have any color background you want. You can have it just plain. You don't have to have two. You can put two or three colors together. You can do whatever you want with the background. I just have an easy background to show you today. I want to make these step by step tutorials easy to follow. Painting an eagle is going to be as easy as I can make it for you, okay? So that's not bad so far. Look at that. That's a nice little sky. So we can come down a little bit further with white, a little tiny bit of red, and let's come down a little further. There we go. Back and forth. And if you go long strokes, that will give you a nice smooth finish. There we go. Simple and quick and easy. So now what we want to do is put some grass down here. So use the same brush that you just used. I prefer a bristle brush though when you're using for grass, okay? So you can just tap into some green. Some green. Just tap in. Tap, 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 tap. And tap into, let's see, a little bit of blue. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Maybe a little bit of yellow. All right. So let's put that, those colors on there now. So just green, a little bit of blue, just to darken it. And we'll just tap. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. See? See how nice that comes out? I've done this in my other videos too. So you probably, if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll have these techniques down path. So let's get some more green and let's try a little bit of red this time. I love playing with colors to see what will come out. Maybe a little bit of blue with it. Oh, look at that one. Nice. 
It does not be exactly the same as what I painted earlier. You'll find that if you paint, um, if you paint the same painting three or four times, it'll always be different. But this is nice experimenting with your colors. Look, green, maybe a little bit of yellow this time. Mix it, same mix with some blue and red. When you add a yellow, see how it brightened it up even more? That's nice. Now you can use a lighter green than that if you want. But I like to put the dark greens on first so that I can put highlights on top. I'm letting those little strings come up there because that looks like grass. See? Now this is just your background for your eagle. You can put any background you want, okay? I'm just going by what I have done already. There we go. Simple as pie. There we go. Here's another look again at the eagle. Just want to show you now what we're trying to accomplish today. So we have the, um, the background almost done. And I just wanted to show you that you can take a sponge. It's a sea sponge. And you can wet it. And then you can dip it into some different colors. Maybe uh, this is for your grass. Maybe let's try a little bit. I don't know. Let's try a little bit of yellow. A little bit of green. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try all kinds of colors. Red. Let's just see what happens. I like to experiment with colors. Don't be afraid. There we go. That looks nice. Oh, yeah, it looks like flowers, actually. Huh, cool. Okay, get some more paint when you run out. Yeah, this is really nice. Some yellow. And just tap, 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 tap all over the place. Just to give you kind of a flowery look. Nice, yeah, good. Maybe a little bit of white for a change. So that's just a sponge, a sea sponge. Now we'll go over this again with we'll make some real, more real looking flowers. There we go, that'll get you started. And it's simple. Like I said, my videos are easy to follow. Simple, easy techniques to get you started, see? So now when we get a little more advanced into it, we'll make these nice flowers here. Put all kinds of flowers in there. Nice, yeah. So we'll get this started, which we already have started, but we will get started now on our eagle, and then we'll do all kinds of things when we get the eagle finished and we put the flowers and everything in. All right. Now, when your painting is all dry, take a drawing of your eagle, draw it out, you can either go on some free websites or some free sites that uh, let you um, use your picture, use their picture for commercial use or for, well this is only for your uh, personal use, but um, just in case you want to show it off in an art gallery or something, go to some of those free uh, domain sites and print off an eagle and then trace it out or you can certainly sit down for a couple hours and try to draw it. It's only just a round. As you can see the lines are very simple. Just a small round head and then you just come down like that. So I mean I'm not going to do that today because I'm trying to teach you to paint. So just tape that on when you get your drawing done on your paper and tape it on. I showed you this in other videos before so you've probably seen this. And then take some carbon paper and the carbon paper you can buy in the craft stores or some copy stores or you know any any store should have have this carbon paper and it's okay and then you draw it out so I just drew it out there so you wouldn't so wouldn't have to waste your time so you put that underneath there and then you take a pen and you draw out the lines draw all the lines out that you need to paint and then when you're finished doing that, and it's okay to have your lines there, yes, because we'll paint over those, so don't worry about that. So like I said, I'm going to do the tutorials as easy and simple as I can for you. Okay, so now that you have it drawn, now uh, we are going to start 
with the head. Let's just work at one piece at a time rather than fill everything in and then go back. Let's go in and start with just the head part at first, okay? So let's lay this out of the way and then let's make a shadow. For In order to show, a, show white, we have to have a shadow. I'm using a small round brush. You can use a small flat brush, a chiseled edge brush and sable. And uh, so I'm just going to take some blue and some red and kind of make a, a dark purplish color. I'm going to add a little bit of white so it won't be too dark. I'm just going to make kind of a purplish color just to give some shadow. Okay, you got that? There we go. And it's on my round brush. Round brush has a pointy edge to it. So put that on there. If it's too dark, I'm going to lighten up a little bit so you can see it because I'm doing a video. But make sure it's got a little bit of darkness going on there. And then we will get all that on there for you. There we go. So let's get on at least once you get your shadow on, then you can start painting on the white. But we'll put our shadow on first. Go around the line so you cover it up. A chiseled edge brush would be even better. Okay, I'm just going to use this for now. And you might even lose a little bit of shape of the head. But don't worry, you'll get it back. As long as it's got a nice little round head. You can look at the photograph that you downloaded. There we go, so we'll get all that in there. Yeah, and just take your time, take your time, put on the paint. There we go. Good. Good. And if your paint, now these are our bottle paints, okay? And I find that it's easier for me to work with the bottle paints when I'm doing, when I'm doing videos because the thick, the really thick tube paints um, are a little bit harder to work with for me because doing videos because I want to do the videos in real time. It's different if I was doing it in, you know, like the, uh, where they speed it up and then they can take their time, but then they can speed up the video. I don't want to do that. I want to do it in real time. So I'm using these bottle paints, which is more fluid and it's a lot easier for me to work with. So that's why I use those. So you can go ahead and use two paints if you like. Two paints are a little more expensive, and but they're worth it because the colors in the tube paints and the more professional tube paints are the colors are more brilliant because you might say well what's the difference between the tube paints and the bottle paints and that's the difference uh, it's, these are probably a student grade or just you know and you don't get the bright brilliant colors as you do with the uh, the more professional Two paints, so I just thought I'd throw that in for you. So I'm just going to lay that over here, just give you a quick look at it, just so you can get an idea. You can take a picture of that, you know, and so you can look at it while you're painting. Okay, so now we have that part of the head done. Now I'm going to use the same brush again. I need a small brush, okay, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to take the same brush again and I'm going to clean your brush and we're going to put on some yellow on the beak. So let's put a little bit of yellow, maybe a tiny bit of red just to get it started. Watch the water coming off. You'll find that uh, if you're cleaning your brushes, sometimes water will drip down on the brush. So be careful that don't happen for you because that will make a mess. So let's get the beak started. There we go. Remember I did the puffin? Something like that. But this is an eagle. 
Eagles are beautiful birds. Okay. So we'll get our, and there's a little spot there for the, uh, the nose or the nostril or whatever you want to call it. All right, so this is why I'm using the pointed top on my round brush. So I can get that little pointy top on the beak. Okay, good. Might need two coats. So not to worry. We have to go over this a few times and when you do it at home, you can take your time and have some fun with it, okay? I'm just getting you started. Most of my videos are, uh, like I say, they're, they're to get you started, make it as easy as possible, and then when you're finished looking at the video, and if I don't have it completely, I may not even have it completely done, you can add more to it, you can uh, redo over a few things, because when I'm doing the video, I want to move on to some other videos too, to show you as much as I can, especially while it's fresh in my mind too. Sometimes I just get an idea and I'm like, oh, I got to put it on video. Okay, so we just have the beak. That looks good. It's just those steps. And then we will do, let's do some of the eyes. So take some black paint black on the tip of your brush. So this round brush with a nice tip is really good to use. See? It's a round brush and it's nice and pointy on, on the top there. And that'll, that's easier to work with. It's almost like using a pencil or a pen, you know what I mean? Alright, so there we go with the eye and let's make him nice and angry looking. Like when you get up in the morning and there's no coffee left. <laughs> And let's go around the eye. Let's just make a little darkness around the eye, or if you want to call it. Uh, let's see if I can go in there without that getting blurry on you. I really don't want to get it blurry. Sometimes this camera will blur and sometimes it won't, so I can't trust it. One of these days we'll get better equipment. One of these days. Let's see if that unblurs for you. I think it did. Oh, cool. Okay, so just put that in and the black here. Okay, so at least you got you got an idea what way the eye looks. Good. So that's good. And I think there's a little spot in here that we'll just do for now. Good. Now, the next thing we're going to do are the feathers. Chiseled edge sable brush. That one says it's a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. Okay, well. And they all have different sizes. Different brands have different sizes. So you might say, well, what size are you using? And I can't really... I can, if I if can see the number, like this one here, this round brush, this one says number four. So I've had brown, uh, brushes in other, and they said like zero, or they said one or two. So it's hard to tell by the number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try these two brushes, and you guys can try different brushes, because I had to try several brushes to get the feathers. But I'm going to try these brushes now for the video. And I'm just picking up some white some white and I'm just going to make these little strokes okay now let's see what happens let's go around the head it's around 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 the head just make little strokes leave some of the shadow color start at the top of the head if it's easier and just make quick strokes quick 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 don't worry about it right now because we can go back over it after pick up some fresh paint and more quick stroke. Quick, quick, quick. Just put them on there as best you can. Try not to worry too much. Go with the shape of the head. So when you come from the beak, come up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over, and down around. Now I'm going to try the chiseled edge brush. So I'm finding that one is a little bit... See what happens now because 
we have to try different ways chisel edge is good so I'm using the chisel edge which is that really skinny edge there it's almost like really sharp like a blade or something and uh, there we go that's a little better so it's good to be able to try different brushes you can even try a fan brush if you like there we go now good so just keep doing that until you get get it the best way you can put it on one two it's harder too when you're standing up I find you gotta be nice and relaxed sit down take your time so one good thing is if you're following along with me now you can put it on pause and finish a segment and then you can even go back and and look at it again several times whatever works for you and that's what I do sometimes when I look at some videos when I first started I'd follow along in the video and I put it on pause and then I do that piece and then I go back in and look at it again and, and keep going over the same part <laughs> a few times for until I got it so yes I did the same what you're doing now I did the same thing I'd look at all the videos and pick out the ones I try and paint along with. I'd only had to go by uh, people who did do uh, videos that you could paint along with. There we go. And then when you get more experience, you can look at the, the people who fast forward and then you can say, oh yeah, I know what they're doing. Okay, we're going to get some of these feathers on. Might look funny at first, but we'll be putting a couple of coats on there. Good. Okay. Get some underneath here and here. And the more you get them on, the, the better it looks. Good. A little coming out this way. Just because you got the drawing done, don't mean you can't make some changes. Good. So I'll pick up some more white and just with your chiseled edge brush and put a few more strokes on and like I said we'll be going back and forth because that's a little bit wet there and I was probably I, I didn't give mine a chance to dry completely so I'm picking up some of the purple underneath but I want I want you to keep some of that purple okay or whatever uh, whatever your underpainting is it could be gray it could be whatever color you want the underpainting can be any color. You decide. It's your painting. You do whatever you want with it. It's yours. Yep, that's all yours. Especially when you're finished, you put your name on it. And say, I did that. And even though you did with the help of looking at my video, you still did it yourself. So you put your name on it. It's your painting. Okay? So you don't have to worry about, I mean, if you want to mention my name when you show your paintings on Facebook or whatever, you can mention my name. If you don't, you don't. If you forget, you know, just have fun. Not going to get caught up in, in anything like that. Not me, anyway. Other people might be a little fussy, but I'm just having fun, just like you are. Okay, so... It's coming along. We'll keep putting some white on there. See, and just keep layering the white. As long as you can keep some of those shadows. Should be okay. There we go. We're getting there. So when that dries more, I'll put more so on So right there, okay? now we want to do the body. Let's put an underpainting on for the body. So I'm going to put on a black with a little bit of brown okay for this side so what I have is a bigger sable brush and it's a filbert but you can use flat and it's got kind of a chiseled edge so I can work around the lines and just put that on there here we go whoops oops 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 I'm trying here we go I want to make that nice and dark so we can 
keep it away from the other one so we can separate where the feathers go good good so let's just get that on this that's done now this time just add only brown to your brush your dirty brush okay so you got you got black on there already so now it'll lighten up to a brown so you put your brown on there and come down here down around the feet we'll worry about that after so let's just put our brown on good so there's three sections to the body here with the wings and the feathers so I'm separating them by putting a really dark color over here on this side see how it separates it now you know where everything goes good 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 I'm just putting on brown and burnt umber whatever you have handy I want to explain about colors I do have some uh, videos on color mixing and things but I got to explain to you because I mean you think that when you look at a video or you look at a book and it tells you certain colors you're like I don't have those colors and then you think you can't do a painting but I'll tell you in a few minutes now what you need and you can do any painting that you want so now the wing is my wing has gone right down into the grass but that's okay I'm just going to do this part here now there we go good now for this side here I'm going to add a little bit of red to my brown like I said only just to get separate colors okay so I just add some red and brown red and brown just to get a if that's too red just go and get more brown there we go it's only an underpainting so don't worry too much don't worry don't worry don't let anything stress you out okay don't get stressed out about painting painting is to relax you make you feel good and if you do the painting for yourself just do it for you don't do it for anybody else and when you do your painting and if you like what you see then you got a perfect painting even if you left out some of the shadows even if you didn't have the beat correctly if you look at it and you love it it's your painting that's all that matters now down here by the feet let's go down by the feet a little bit hope it don't get too blurry on you hope not let's go with another dark brown let's see let's see let's let's go with like maybe black and brown again all right just so we can distinguish that this is where the the claws the feet are so just go in between there just say that's his feathers way back there okay fill in whatever you think needs to be filled in and now we're getting over by the white tail in the back here so you just look and see what you need we leave that back there and now we'll do that one next so now we have all the background colors in for for the feathers and now the white so let's go I just used a small flat brush that time so I'm going to use a small flat brush again this time chisel edge ones are nice easy to work with now you can ask me what size this is and it says four but look how small it is but anyway I'm going to go into the white and I'm going to add a tiny bit of that purplish color if there's any you got any left over remember we made some purple for the shadow for the shadow of the head so just so we can get a bit of a shadow every time we go for uh, every time you go uh, to make white always put a shadow underneath whether it's gray brown purple whatever okay so I'm gonna make a light one this time 
and I'm just going to figure out where my tail is. Oh, maybe I better make it a little darker. Because the white won't stand out if I don't make it a little darker, okay? Let's go. I'm just going with the purple color. I like the purple. Adding white, and I'm going in here. Good. Good, good. So bring the tail down. Just adding more white so I can see it. Go up against that feather. And bring it down. Good. Good. Bring down a feather here. And a feather here. Good. And here. Not sure how many feathers you have, but we'll make up whatever you, you see on the picture. So long as you got your, your uh, background paint in there, we are ready to go, ready to rock and roll. All right, so we got that much done. So now let's work on the stump that the little eagle is sitting on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, like I say, you can put whatever colors together you want, okay? So I'm just going to put together some brown and some yellow and some white. All right, this is the color I'm going to use for the stump. You can use whatever colors you want. So we'll put the stump in there and, and then we can see where the stump is. Good, now we just had to work around the little feet, the talons. All right, so just go work around the talons using a small flat brush. All right, good. Good, good. Some more brown and yellow if you run out of paint. And a bit of white. We'll be putting in some dark areas thereafter. So we have to figure out where he is sitting. Okay. So, there we go. There we go. We're almost done. Almost. So use the chisel edge of your brush so that you can get in between those talons and figure out where things are. Don't worry too much as long as you can get get that on there. That's your base coat. All right. It's the base coat. The underpainting. That's your underpainting. Everything is underpainted first. So you can see the shapes and so you know where everything is and where it all sits. All right. Even though we worked on the head a little bit, sometimes I like to spend some time on one part just to encourage me to go on sometimes, you know. It's fun to see things coming to life. So now we'll just put in some shadows here just to uh, make it a little more realistic. I'll just put in some dark burnt umber. All right, it's a bit of darks here, just a little bit for now, just to get it started. Give it a little bit of a um, little brown, darken up with some black if you want. Not too much though, I don't like that. Get a bit of black on my brush. I don't like it to make it too dark like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that to dry. That's the best thing to do. See, I have to experiment the same as you do, and I've been doing this for a long time, but I still have to figure out what brushes to use, what color paints to use, how I can get it to come together. So it doesn't matter if you're at it for a year, six months, ten years. You're still always learning, okay? Now we'll do the feet. we we'll do the talons. So let's go back to our little skinny liner brush again. And what we'll do is we will take some yellow and some red and don't mix it totally together. See how I just sort of left a little bit? So just take 
the talons and get them painted so that we know where it's going, where they are. There we go. Good. So we get the shapes and find out where everything is. Oops. I pushed a little too hard that time, but I can fix that. Okay, good. See, can you see that? Just want to make sure you can see it. I don't want it to get too blurry. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that okay. Now, we'll just do the talons there. Good. Let's see if we get a little closer for you. Okay. On blur. That looks pretty clear, I think, on my side. All right. So then we have that. And then we have some more talons here. There we go. Oops. My paint is still wet. Okay. Okay. That much done. And then take some black and put it on top of your skinny brush. Like that. And then paint the we'll call them toenails, how's that? <laughs> the talons. We'll paint those in. There we go. See, at least now you know where everything is. Once you know where everything is, then you can just start layering on the paint and then it'll start coming to life for you, okay? Simple as pie. Sometimes. So, I'm just going to let that simmer there for now. Let me try something else. I'm going to try now putting on some more feathers on the top here. All right. Let's get in there. Good. I think that's okay. So now use your flat, your flat brush, flat chisel edge brush. Like I said, you can try a fan brush. You can try anything that helps get it on there, okay? A liner brush, anything that works. All right. So, I'm just going to load up my brush with white again. So now I'll put some more feathers on the head part there. So, let's go. Good. So putting on those feathers is shaping up the head. Get that nice angry look there. Don't lose that. Kind of gone, gone solid on me there now. So if it goes solid on you, then just put some more shading back in. But if you're happy with it like that, then leave it. There's no, like I said, it's no right or wrong. It's just the way you want it. And the way, if it looks good, excellent. Okay. There we go. Just put on as much as you can. Good. Good down. Good. Come down here. Leave a little bit of a shadow under the chin there. It seems like it's coming along. I'm after going into the eye a little bit. Okay, so we have a nice little bit of fur on. I'm going to leave that. You can put on as much as you want. And I'm just going to take the beak and redo the beak a bit. So I'm going to take that uh, small round brush, you can use the flat or the round, and you get your yellow with a little bit of red, a little bit of red and yellow, and kind of an orangey color, and come in here and with more yellow, 
There we go. Get the shape of the beak. So every time you're painting, especially animals and, uh, you know, anything uh, that needs shape, it could be a tree, anything, then what you're doing is you're painting shapes. So make sure, once you get your shape, then you should be in good shape yourself. Good, so let's go back here. Let's go back into here a little bit. And come over here. Bring some of this yellow down here, or orangey yellow. Good. I'm just picking up more yellow now. Get the top, cover up that line that you put in there. Like I said, we're, we're working on shapes. So if you're painting and you lose the shape, then you will see it. Right, so right now I'm trying to shape up his beak. There we go. Okay, almost. Almost. And we'll put a little bit under here. Good, and I'm going to put a little shadow color under there. Just a little, add a little bit of brown. Just give it a little bit of a shadow. That's all. There we go. Good. And if you put too much in, just put some more yellow on. Oops. And if we need darker brown to outline it here, just outline that line. Okay. So. And a little bit of a line here. See how many times you have to go back and forth to get what you're looking for? I'm doing this, like I said, in real time. So um, you're going to see every little mistake. You're going to see every little correction. And maybe there's going to be times I may not be able to even fix it. But I'm going to do my best. So there's a bit of red, a little bit of an orangey color on the top here. All right, I wanted two red. I'm just going to bring up a little bit and get some more yellow. Good. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of white on my brush. My dirt brush is dirty. Just put a little bit of a highlight there on top of that nostril. And I'm going to put on pure black again. Just wipe off your brush. Same brush and put some black on there. And put it around the eye again. Outline the eye. See where I came in with the feathers? Good. Make it nice and angry. There we go. Good. He's an angry bird. And we're going to put clean the brush off again. Just wipe it off in your tissue and get some yellow. Get some yellow in around the eye. Now, like I said, these are the uh, easiest as I can get them for you. So, um, there's lots and lots more work can be done. So, as you get more experience, you'll be able to add more highlights and more uh, shadows and make it more realistic looking. But right now, for the video, I'm just going to show you the basics. There we go. Now I get that black spot back in there again, black eye, and what we'll do is, let's see, let's see, I think this over here looks kind of too big, I'm going to clean my brush and put a bit of yellow on it and tone that down a bit, there we go, put a little highlight up here, didn't like that, see, change anything you want, okay, and then I'm going to go in here, This video I might have to do it in a couple of different lessons because it seems to be taking a long time. It's, it's not a, it's not a real, it's a lot of detail in this painting. There we go. So I'm going to move on to something else there now. The body. This one's nice and dark. We can darken up a little bit more. Let's just go with a little bit of black and a little bit of brown. 
You don't want to use pure black all the time. Every time you need to use black, always add another color to it. Just so it won't be so flat. Okay, so let's darken up that wing over here. Some brown and some black. You can even add a bit of red to it if you want. If you want to. There we go. Straighten out your edge or whatever. You might have a better edge than I do. Good. Perfect. Now, in the center here, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to do the center here. So I'm just going to add, let me see, let me see. Um, I'm going to put on a bit of uh, brown just to put another coat on there because that dried. So sometimes you have to re-wet it because acrylics dry fast. So sometimes you have to re-wet it. And it's okay because it doesn't matter if it's exactly the same brown as long as it's brown. It'd be harder if you had to get exactly the same color and you were mixing them and then you had to remix and you tried to get the same color. It might be difficult. So that's why I never worry about... I want all the colors to be whatever browns. If I had to go over that blue sky in the background, um, I wouldn't really mind having the color a little different. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'd just go over it if I had to. Okay, so now that I got that cleaned up a little bit, I'm going to put on, let's see, some brown on my brush. Some brown. And let's see, some red. I'm just going to dip into red and some yellow on the other side or wherever. And I'm just going to get all these colors. Try and get some nice colors. I might need more yellow. I'll test it out first. Here's what you're trying to get. Just watch. You're trying, we are trying to get this. Now, if I can get something close to that, I'd be happy. All right, so let's try, see what happens. It's a flat chiseled edge brush. All right, and the colors are separated. And I'm taking the chiseled edge and I'm pulling down on the top of the chest. And I'm pulling down so I can get those uh, ends, red, yellow, and brown. I'm pulling down so I can get those ends there. See, so you can get them to feather out at the end there. Okay. So, let's try it. Pull, pull, pull. There's too red or too pink or just go back in and get more brown and more yellow. See if that helps. Okay. So, you may have to go over it a couple of times to get what you're looking for. I'm just, all I'm doing here, now the feathers on the picture may not even look like this, but it would probably look a little brighter um, on the chest. I'm just doing this for the artistic look. How's that? That's what I'm saying. There's no right or wrong. You just do what you feel and what you like. I mean, I'm teaching you what, I, what I'm doing, you know, and so you're going by what I'm doing. But when you're finished and you get more experience, you pick up your own style and you pick up your own colors and change the colors in photos, you know. You don't have to do it all exactly the same as what you see. As long as when it's done and you like what you see, that's the main thing. That's all you need to worry about. All right, so there we go. Okay. Well, have you seen some of the paintings that sold for millions of dollars that were in the paper lately? You wouldn't believe it. And you worry about your own. Hmm. Depends what people like and depends if you're famous. So I'm just going to let that sit there like that. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, and then now I'm going to get... Uh, let's see, uh, what kind of brush will we use for the next one? Let's use um, a, that liner. I really like that liner brush. That's, that's a, an easy brush to work with. This one here is not a liner brush, it's a round brush actually because it's, it's bigger than a, a liner brush. It's got a pointy edge. That's what I like about it. It's really pointy on the edge here. Nice. So here we go. So let's get our flat brush. I got the pointy edge one, but I'm going to take this and clean this up a bit too. So I'm going to take a bit of red and brown. Red and brown and just fill that in again, okay? Alright, so then we can have that. 
you got any lines that you can see just cover them up because where you drew it out with the carbon paper you're probably going to be able to see that if you got a reddish tint on this one or brown you know if it's too red just go in and get some brown good pick up a little bit of black put that down here so we can separate those wings good let's bring that out a little bit just a little bit so it's separated from the top one there good that's good enough for me there we go now here's my little tiny brush I might have to wait for that to dry. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow. Look at the mess I got made. Isn't that cool? A bit of yellow and a little tiny bit of brown. I think just so it won't be too yellow. Just for those wings. And let's make some smiley faces. A little smiley face here and here. A little smiley. Smile, smile. Smile, smile. A little smile. There we go. Go get some more paint. A little smile. And we'll go on the edge of here. Down here, here, and here. Good. And then you can take your brush and line out the edge here so it's separated. Just separate that. It's almost like a highlight or the beginning of some feathers. Good. This is with the round brush with a little tiny top on it. Okay. See, it gives me all kinds of lines, skinny lines, whatever kind of lines I want. I like it. All right. Now, more smileys. All right, I'm just using some yellow and a little, I mixed in a little bit of accidentally lift, mixed in a little bit of red but that's okay so I'm just making some smiles here we go here we go and they don't have to be really sticking out some can be faded little smile here and there there we go now these feathers are a lot more elaborate if you look at the picture so, but for the video, I'm just going to make this, like I said, and these are very simple techniques. Um, but if you are more advanced and you need, you go ahead and put the feathers in as you see them. Okay? Because some of these could be joined up and uh, there could be some in between and all kinds of good stuff. Okay? But I'm just going to leave that like that for now. And what I'm going to get a little bit more yellow and I'm going to put a few little ones over here. They're just going to pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in off the line, pull in, just to make it look like there's some feathers there, okay? And want to put more in here, you certainly can. You want to put more in between or, you know, have a look at the picture and see where they fit and make them even more smiley. Right? More smiley. And make it smile, smile. See, you can even put some here like this. Join up those two. Join up those two. Join up those two. Join up those two. See, you can join them up and that makes it more like feathers. Join up. More smiles, maybe some lighter ones there. I'm not going to go through that because I'll take all day. I'm taking all day now as it is. Okay, and so there we go. Pull in some more. Good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the middle of the belly. And we're almost finished now, actually. So um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so let's just finish up the body there, in the middle, right here. And we'll go with our little liner brush. And just to put a few little uh, smiley, or not quite so smiley, kind of a straighter line coming down here. 
and a few lines in here is just the illusion of some feathers and like I say you can make your feathers a lot better than this maybe I'll do a video on how to do feathers right now I just want to get this painting finished for you and you can look up uh, on your picture and see what way the feathers look on your picture like I said they can line up and then they'll all come together when you line them up okay so I'll just let those go in there little smiley faces good and these over here just come down just pull in a few feathers they can be straight or crooked or whatever way you want to see it on your picture there because it's an illusion um, that's off a little bit so if you if they end up getting off a little bit just take take them out okay take them out and put them back in so I didn't like that so I will put them back in when I get the uh, get that dried a little bit so I'm just gonna go back in I'm just gonna clean up some of my feathers over here you know you go back and clean up whatever you need to okay just clean up everything make sure everything is to your to make you happy if you put a smile on your face you look at that and say you know it's not too bad then you know that you got a nice painting so just make yourself happy okay just make yourself happy and if for some reason you do painting and you can't get you know you can't get it and it just keeps making you uh, I don't know frustrated or whatever then leave it for a while and go on to something else just leave it for a little while give it a chance to settle in and then when you go back and look at it it may look different it may look a little different to you it might look better and maybe you'll just see some parts where you can fix it up and make it, it might be just one part of the painting that you don't like okay so don't worry too much relax so let's try the feet let's get see if we can get the feet done you don't have a lot to do now a few flowers a few few highlights on the feet so let's go with the uh, darker with some red some brown all right some red and some brown and we'll use that for some shadows in here in between the talons here whoops it's a little bit too red so you need a bit of brown good and then we'll put that here and we'll put another bit here just some shadows bring it out a little bit more okay and put the shadows where you think you need them and then put on some more cleaner brush and get a bit more yellow and put some yellow on the, on here because it looks like it needs a second coat doesn't it good a little bit of a second coat here and then we can fix up that one that I made a mess of see I'm only the same as everybody else just having some fun I'm not gonna let it worry me too much I'm just gonna do my thing a little bit of a highlight here let me put a little more highlight on on some parts of it because you want to say the sun is coming in from the right then that's the parts that will be brighter okay think about where your sun is coming from good and then you might want to clean up the talons all right so let's get those straightened away there we go okay I think I got that one a little too thick oh well, that's not too bad and there we go and like I said now when I finish this video I might go back into this painting and I might fix up a few things but yeah there we go ah so now let's go with our flat brush flat chiseled edge brush okay there you are and see that back wing here let's let's do something with that so let's get some white paint white paint and clean up and put some white in here get those feathers come out good 
and down here separate those feathers down here and let's go in here and I'm going to show you something now to make those feathers look nice around the bottom just putting in this first good let's just put these in get that much done and that's your shadow up there pull up a little bit of feather in there to make it all blend now what you want to do is get um, a filbert brush so just get your filbert brush see how it's rounded on the top there it's not totally square I hope you can see that that one says number six so make sure your brush is a bit damp and dip it in some white and because it's rounded on the bottom it will give you those nice round feathers so touch and you got your feather shape and pull up pull up touch let's get one right here and pull up and touch I think we need a bit of shadow color in with that so just go into a little tiny bit of blue touch and pull up so your brush will do the work for you okay because it's got the shape touch and pull up let's see touch and pull up see it's got that roundness already made for you you don't have to try and round it out your brush will do it for you okay so here we go so get yourself a fill brush great Filbert brushes are great for flowers too. I would you gotta have a filbert brush. Alright, so we'll just leave that for now. And or we can put a little bit of shadow color, which is the purple and red. I used. You can use any color you want. Uh in here, just to break it up a little bit here, okay? Good. All right. I'm trying my best to get this in between there. There we go, I think. There we go, I think. Okay, so we'll leave that like that for now. And what I'll do is I will put some more I'm gonna keep the filbert brush out while I got it put some more dark brown I might take some brown just a burnt umber and put a few little cracks in this here good maybe put some up here and here just put some cracks wherever you see them make it up as you go along because you don't have a picture only my painting for what he's standing on unless you can find one something like that or you can look up some uh, stumps and uh, follow those look up some pictures of stumps all right and then you'll be able to see where the cracks are and and uh, that will help you so let's just keep working on this here. Darken it up nice and dark in here because it would be shadowed in here, wouldn't it? On this side. Good. And now to make it a little more interesting, put some white on your brush, your filbert brush, and put some little bits of white on the edges here where the sun is shining down. There we go. Gives it a little bit more interest. Oh, I just lost my brown okay okay I'll go get it in a minute so just put on little bits of white here and there on the edges of the dark that will give it a little more interest so little details do give your painting a little more interest okay there we go good 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 all right let's see here we go 
oops, I keep losing. That filbert brush is, is uh, sort of soft, so when I push a little tiny bit too hard, it spreads open. So if that don't work for you, then go get a nice little liner brush or a, a brush that's a little more stiff, okay? So I just wanted to try it. And I want you to see what happens, because I know I have a lot of people that I talk to in my on my Facebook page, and I have a group on there called uh, Acrylic Painting for the Beginner. If you want a link to it, it's all kinds of paint, uh, beginners in there and um, people giving advice, more experienced people giving advice, and uh, it's a great, great little group, I must say. Uh, over 5,000 people in there from all over the world is amazing me, and it's my group, but I love it. So if you want a link to that, just email alisonpryor at yahoo.com and I'll send you the link. Or maybe I'll put the link in the description. I'll, I'll see now, as long as I don't forget. Sometimes I forget to put certain things in my links. Okay, so that'll do. You can always do more with it. It was too dark, you can lighten it up again. So what else do you see? Flowers, a few flowers, okay. All right, a few more flowers and then we'll finish it up, but you can do whatever you want. Uh, down here I left out a few feathers, so just the same thing, just a bit of yellow, maybe a little darker because it's uh, they're hidden underneath the wing there. So put a bit of brown together with a little bit of yellow probably, and we'll just throw in a few little lines here just to give it the illusion of some feathers going on in there. Okay, that's all you have to do, just it's an illusion. That's all painting is, an illusion and shapes, shapes and illusions, okay? It's not real, it's, it's only paint. So, um, yeah, a few flowers. So here we go, let's just put in a couple little flowers and then you can put in as many as you want, okay? So take your brush, this is the one with the long line, uh, the, the round brush with the skinny tip. And I'm going to take the back of that brush right here. And I am going to put in a few little roses. So take the back of your brush and dip it into white and dip it into red. Just go around in a circle and then find a spot that you want to put a rose. Let's say over here and just go around in a circle. I think a little rose. Okay, let's see if I can get closer so you can see that. Okay, so I'll just put a few little flowers around then you can finish it up. So I'll put a little rose there, I'll put a little rose here, need a bit more white, dip into white, dip into red, and little roses. There we go. Put in a couple more and um, there we go. So I'm just going to do those couple and then I'm just going to do, you can do also a yellow rose and a white, you know, whatever colors you want. All right. So we'll do a little yellow. Dip into yellow, dip into white like we did. And then just put in a couple of yellow roses like that. Or yellow flowers. Just use the back of your brush. That's it. Simple as pie. So go back in and get some white and some red and leave some of the yellow on there if you like and just make another circle. Get some more flowers over here. Oh, did you see that? You missed it. There it is. Okay, good. And what else? And then you can use the back of your brush to put a maybe a red dot in here. Okay. And then we'll take this brush, the front of it, and we'll put some white on there. And then we'll just make some lines out from the red. Touch and pull, touch and pull. And we get a little daisy or something that's in the field there. There we go, just these lines coming out from the red. Good. It's little flowers. You put in whatever kind of flowers you want. Put in some sunflowers and stuff, right? So I'm not going to do much more with that. And then I'm going to put some yellow on one side and green on the other. I'm just going to make some of these little stems. Boop. So you can make little stems and then you can just touch and make some nice little leaves. 
That's all. Simple as pie. And some more leaves. And you can also do some highlights. Put some more roses up here in different places and flowers. And do whatever you want. And then take a bristle brush. And I'm going to put in some more grass around the stump. So I'm going to dip into some green and some blues and whatever. And I'm going to put it around the stump. So I'm just going to tap, 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 tap around the stump. And I'm going to pull up some grass. So dip into some green, maybe a bit of yellow. And tap, 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 tap. And pull, 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 pull. Good. And if you want to highlight some of those areas, just take some yellow and a bit of green right there. Tap into a yellow and green, and then just add a few little highlights. And make sure you can see that. A few little highlights in different places. Very easy. See, you can just touch, 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 tap, 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 tap. Different places with your bristle brush. That will make it even look like just more flowers there. Good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped. If you've got any questions, you can email me at alisonpriorityahoo.com and I'd love to see your paintings when they're finished or if you have any questions. Oh, cute little eagle. Isn't that cute? All right, so go ahead and paint that eagle and I'd love to see it if you can and leave some comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like so we can I have lots more videos coming up. I even um, the next one I'm hoping to do is uh, flesh tones. A really easy way to do flesh tones. I think you'll like it. So, signing out, Allison Pryor. See you in the next video. Happy painting everybody.